Hi, welcome to the basketball show here on uh, Midco Sports Network. We're talking about boys class A in South Dakota. Uh, the season preview, Jason Andera has been working his tail off for the last month or so. Uh, tell us what you've got online as far as a preview yeah. for boys A basketball in South Dakota. Yeah, because we don't have enough time even in these shows to expound on all the teams, but I did a little write up and pretty much the teams that everybody's talking about in class A, and that will be online, midcosn.com slash blog and then you can check out my blog for all kinds of info check out my blog all right the the thought in uh, boys a in south dakota is there are two teams that are here and yeah. then there's a bunch of other teams maybe six eight ten that are going to contend as well who are the two top two teams well the top two almost every single and i talked to almost every single coach almost everyone says it's going to be sioux falls christian and t area as the two teams that are cut above the rest of course all those other coaches are hoping that they're going to be in the mix but they really believe those are the two top teams and then there were 18 or so 16 other teams who coaches mentioned i asked everybody who do you think the top five teams are i totaled up 16 other teams who were worthy of at least mention in the top five so uh, there's a lot of good teams in Class A, and I went and talked to a few of them, a few of those coaches, St. Thomas More, uh, I think, let's see, Sioux Falls Christian, and the T area teams to find out what they had to say before the season starts. Well, I think a lot of it is just getting back into the gym, of course, uh, coming off of last year's uh, runner-up finish. Guys want to have a little bit better finish this year to the season, so, you know, our practices have been, have been really good thus far. I think... Uh, you know, we're, we're getting after it like I'm sure everybody in their gyms are doing. But, uh, you know, I think our level of experience coming back has really helped us prepare for the season, what those expectations I think are both what we put on ourselves and maybe what others have put on us as well. So the guys are excited. You know, I think everybody at this point in time and in, in practices more than likely just want to get on a court and play somebody different than each other. Oh, uh, we're looking pretty good. I think the outcome of the season hasn't changed since the past two years, and that's just a state championship. Um, we just want to bring the intensity every practice, like every minute we're doing something. It's our last year, so we want to soak it all in and make sure everyone's doing it right and we're not wasting any of it. I think our chemistry is what sets us apart from most teams and our depth. We got like at least 10 guys that I'm comfortable with throwing in the game and playing with me. Yeah, we got two starters back, uh, Mitch Goodberry. He's been uh, playing varsity for the last uh, three years uh, as a starter. And uh, Gavin Skipper, this is his second year uh, in the starting lineup. We're fast. We're really fast. You know, we get out and we can we can score in a couple seconds. So you know, watch out for that. Well, we're a little a uh, little more experienced this year. You know, uh, we did lose uh, three seniors that started for us, uh, and uh, so we've got a few holes to fill. But uh, we do have a lot of experience coming back. Well, we're looking to have a big year out of Ryder Kirsch. You know, he had a good year for us last year once he got healthy. And Caden Casey uh, was the other guard that we have back that started for us last year. I think if we can stay healthy, you know, uh, I hope to get to the state tournament. All right, Jenny, here is the uh, media poll before the season gets started in boys double A. And is there any argument that T area is the number one team? Should Sioux Falls Christian have gotten more first place votes than that one that they did? Well, I mean, even even uh, Mike Scouten, the Sioux Falls Christian head coach, said T is the team to right. beat. They have four starters returning from a team that's been to the state title, state championship game, two years in a row. Two of those players are Division One players, Noah Friedel and Justin Hone. Justin Hone going to UC Irvine and uh, Friedel going to Wright State of all places. Um, but yeah, they are the team to beat. And then they've got other players on the team, Kate Joffer, and they've got shooters, they've, they've got a lot. Why do you say Wright State of all places? That's where Scott Nagy, yeah. the former South Dakota State coach, well, is not Wright State, but they didn't have a lot of connection, or any connection really, yeah. between Friedel, they, there had to be some connection there somewhere, but well, just the the they had something to start the conversation with. Yeah. But Noah told us that you know he went to Las Vegas to play in some of the summer stuff, and and that's where Nagy was and right. saw him. So it he it wasn't like oh I've been watching you all my life, Coach Nagy. I'm going to go play for you someday. It wasn't that was not the case, but uh, it did work out that it was a Division One program that offered him and. Uh, he chose to go to the right state. All right. Yeah, Friedel, 25 points a game last year. And again, T area 
was second in the state tournament. Madison won the state tournament. We'll talk about them here in a minute. But uh, go down to the three and four teams here. Pine Ridge and Red Cloud. Red Cloud won 21 games last year. They've got 16 years coming back. What about uh, Pine Ridge and Red Cloud? Well, those two teams are absolutely driven by star power. Uh, Corey Brown of, of Pine Ridge is one of their five starters coming back to their lineup and he is a double-double machine, averaged about 16, 17 a game. 17 points, 14 rebounds 14 a game rebounds last year a game. for Corey Brown. Yeah. Unbelievable. And then Ali Rama, if you've ever uh, – Rama, I think is how you say it. If you've ever watched him play, he takes over games. He's so fluid, such a great athlete for Red Cloud. Um, he and two other starters are back for them. So I think those two teams are teams, are, uh, teams everybody are talking about across the state as potential teams that could shake up the, that top two. All right, and then St. Thomas Moore is always in the mix. Yeah, last year they were down a little bit. I mean, they had Ryder Kirsch as their best player as a sophomore last year, but he wasn't fully healthy after the football season until about halfway through the year. This year, as a junior, the 6'6 kid is ready to go, and I think he helps a lot. And uh, we hear David Hollenbeck kind of comment on some of the rest of the supporting cast as well. I think they've got more of a complete team than they had last year. All right, other than these top five, Madison, 24 and one last year. They won the state championship. Not in the top yeah. five this year. What's going on? 20, 24 and one. They've well, they've had guys like uh, Aaron Fegan and the Yankees and and some big time talent come through there. This year, just the one starter back in Nick Combs, and they've got a lot of other players coming up, just like they did in football, that filled their spots and did pretty well actually. But it's a huge hole to fill when Forgot you forgot all those guys they had last they, year. They had yeah. so much talent. I mean, and they've been so good at basketball with with uh, Coach Ricky over the years, and Ricky now is their athletic director, so he's not the boys' head coach this year for the first time. So they will – it's always an adjustment period. I, Jeff Larson's very respected head coach, a very respected coach for Madison, but it's always a little bit of a transition when you have a new head coach. A couple other uh, superstars that we think are going to be really good again this year. At Canton, Caden Verley. Yeah, Caden Verley. I mean, he's great at whatever he does, but basketball, I mean, the guy – he can rain from three. He can drive it to the hoop. Um, definitely a team that surprised us in football, and we should not be shocked if they surprise us in basketball as well. Verley, 26 points a game last year as a sophomore. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that, that is right. Karst Hunter at Miller. Yeah, another guy, 20-point, 10-rebound type of guy. Uh, the only starter back for that team, but uh, he's got some talent around him. And anytime you got a guy like Karst Hunter, what, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, who can – shoot and do a little bit of everything, he'll give you a chance to win. Del Rapids, what are they going to have? 17 wins last year for Del Rapids. So they, they don't have quite as much back either, but again, the coaching from Jason Firstall has been outstanding for Del Rapids, and uh, they don't have the, the, the height and the length that they're used to having at Del Rapids, but always well coached. They'll bring back some studs. All right, uh, T area and Sioux Falls Christian, the top two to watch going into the season. Season starts this weekend. What are some games you're looking forward yeah, to? Yeah, well, we, one of the games that we're looking forward to is seeing how T starts the season off. And uh, they've got Dakota Valley, another team that always puts a good team together. That's coming up next Saturday. And then on uh, Friday night, Lennox and Sioux Falls Christian. Sioux Falls Christian gets a test right out of the gate. Lennox is a team some people are talking about could cause a problem. And then uh, Sioux Valley is Class A. They have Max Nielsen and company. They're always good. They always lose a bunch of players, and people kind of shove them aside, and they always come back with a great team. I think they're going to have a great test against the Class B team in Clark Willow Lake right away on Saturday. All right, uh, there you go. Check out Jandy's blog on midcoastsportsnetwork.com, and uh, we'll check it out again next week after the season gets started uh, for boys Class A basketball in South Dakota. Thanks, Tom.